Shalom, shalom. And in today's video, man, I got another sad case study that uh, I'll use so people can not only, you know, witness it, but learn from. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, another uh, successful week of dog boarding, man. Letting these uh, last couple dogs out for the night. And then the uh, rest of them will go home in the morning. But uh, another successful week. But um, just pretty much, you know, found this clip as I was doing, taking a little break today. I found this clip. And it is um, shocking because I've dealt with this having to uh, chapter people out the military. I've had to, you know, uh, deal with this when people get held accountable at work. And, you know, a lot of people don't realize that if you are tardy, constantly tardy in the military, they will separate you from service, you know. And if you get a bonus or anything like that, Nobody wants to hear how you was uh, late on multiple occasions, 10, 15 minutes here, 10, 15 minutes there. But uh, here you're going to see that there's a young lady and I want to give her the benefit of the doubt and say her name was Tatiana, but it sounded like Tatiana. And I found this on uh, the Hodge twins, their page. And I said, I'll try to cut as much as I can of their voiceover because they make it comedy. But okay can you uh i'm sorry i didn't what can you say that again um yeah hi tatiana this is um shelly from hr from hr <laughs> no i don't remember you but what's going on well we had a discussion a couple weeks ago about your absenteeism and tardiness okay Do you know what time you have to be clocked in at work six o'clock yeah six a.m Okay. So unfortunately, on seven eighteen, you clocked in at six twelve. Wow. We had a discussion about that. Twelve. Remember? Twelve minutes. Yeah, but you know the they're waiting on you to be there, at, clocked in and ready to work at six. Okay. Okay. So, so your employment is really going to be terminated as of today, because also on seven twenty eight, you clocked in at six twenty one. Twenty one minutes. Yes, that's 21 minutes of company time. But I still, I still work though. Like I still like. <laughs> why didn't y'all tell me that today when I was just at work? They yeah, gonna tell you to you get home. Because I handle all the HR, so they wanted me to call you because we had that discussion. Remember about? And that was the day up. that I let my. I, all right, keep going. So you were also on 88. You clocked in at like. 632. That was it. Okay, so I let my cousin use my car the night before and he didn't bring it. He overslept or something. He didn't bring it back till the morning. So, like, I still made it though. Literally, like, nine days after we talked. So, and then on 812, you just did a no call, no show. That was my birthday. August 12th, that's my birthday. Like, I already you told you. that day off work, though. But y'all know, that's my birthday. I'm not. Birthday. Uh, no. That's fine. All right. Okay. Everyone works on their birthday. Even I worked on my birthday. Mm, Y'all too grown so. for me. Well, unfortunately, okay. I just need you to turn your keys in. And your I'll be there tomorrow because that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh. What? Like, what? What? No. This is real prevalent with younger people, man, where there's no accountability. And this woman... She just thought she was just going to be uh, call in and be a no show on her birthday. You know, she thought, uh, you know, that she could make all these excuses. And she was, you know, in her mind, she was right. And this is how it is. Um, this is and this is how it is when you are trying to. I want you to think about it. And this is why they choose to have HR deal with you instead of having your manager or all these other people do it because HR going to give you a phone call, tell you to turn your keys in, and that's that. This woman had excuses about, 
uh, her brother borrowing her car, you know, it being her birthday and she was going to take it off. And it's, um, you got to think if you are a no call, no show, they have to try to find somebody to fulfill your roles and responsibility in an abrupt manner where you could have gave them a heads up or requested that day off. It's too easy. Hey, it's my birthday. Uh, if possible, I would like to take that day off. You see what I'm saying? But again, you, uh, I'm giving you this from somebody that don't celebrate birthdays. And I want you to understand in this case study, oftentimes when you're talking about being in a relationship with a man or a woman, like it is a nightmare dealing with somebody that thinks they're right when they are not accountable. When they're not accountable, they're not receiving of the truth. She couldn't receive the truth. And the HR lady pretty much stated uh, everything that this lady named Tatiana, Tatiana acknowledged. And this is why, you know, when you think about all of these legal or illegal migrants that came across the border, they call them legal now. Uh, this is the new workforce. You ain't gonna have no problem with these uh, migrants you know, showing up late. They're going to be there 30 minutes early. And here you are asking for a pay raise and you 12 minutes late. But yeah, man, just wanted to use this as a case study because this is sad, bro. Man, I've had to deal with this almost at every level of leadership that I've been in the military, that I've been in the army. When I was a Sergeant E5, had to tell people, hey, man, and everybody's not cut out to make that call, to tell somebody, hey, we got to let you go. Hey, man, we need you to sign this paperwork because we kicking you out the military. And you got on there, hey, you was late this day, late that day, late this day. People be mad, man. People be ready to fight you, but no accountability. Close to the Y'all Ministries kicking it gun barrel straight. Wow.